So I thought I'd quickly just do a video. Just, um, I'm not really going to show you how to do it, but I've, I'm going to give you the code to show you where to put it. But just if you want to change your arrows and your pagination, yeah. So you'll see I've changed the colors to red. This is slightly, or not, a lot lighter than the, the red, but um, you can, I'll show you how to change this now. And you'll see there's no error on the left hand side, but uh, it shows you at the end of that. But when you click the next one, it appears again. And then when you get to the end, that one disappears, but that one shows. So I've left a link to the code pen and here's the code you need. So the first code is just to change the color of the navigation. So you'll see that I've got it as red. The next line of code is to change the size of the navigation. So I don't know if you remember in the videos that I did previously, they were quite large. So I've changed it to 30 pixels, but you can change this to whatever size you want. If you want them bigger, you can change them or smaller. Just change the font size there. And then this next line of code is just where I set the opacity. So when you get to the end of a slide, it disappears. And that's because the opacity is set to zero. And then the next two are just for the pagination at the bottom. So the first one sets the active color or the active bullet point, which is the darker one. And then the next line of code sets the other bullet points that aren't active. So the lighter ones. And those are too light, but you, I've just put opacity there. You can maybe change this to like seven or eight and it'll be a bit darker. I'll actually, what I'll do, I need to actually go. Yeah. So I've just pasted all this code in my page settings. So if you click on page, um, wait, where are we page settings, advanced custom CSS. I've just pasted my code on top of that other code we pasted just for the WooCommerce media queries. So I've just pasted it in there and we can actually change this. Let's try change this to seven. Maybe that will be a bit, we can see it a bit better. But I just wanted to also show you where you can paste your code. And if we refresh the page, ah, it's, it's a bit better. But you can maybe go 0.8 or 0.9 even. But anyway, this is all this video is about just to give you code. If you want to change the pagination and the navigation, that's how you do it. The link to the code pen is in the description. I'm not going to make this video long or complicated or boring. Um, I hope you found this useful. And again, if you have any questions, please drop a comment or send me an email. Um, my email address is in the description. And if you want me to build another slider, maybe you're not getting it quite right or something like that, or you don't know how to do it um, with a certain module, Drop a comment with the name of the Swiper JS slider as well as the module you're trying to use. And I will try as soon as possible to do a video showing you how to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one, guys. See you soon. Cheers.